In order to create a robust and error-free family, it must be created in a strict sequence of steps to minimize potential errors. Firstly, we need to model objects which act as the skeleton that then further drives the family geometry. And to do this, we use objects called reference planes. These are invisible 3D planes that are drawn perpendicular to the view you are currently in, which in this case is a floor plan view. I can see that there are already two reference planes placed inside this family, and where they meet in the center is the placement point of where they will be located when you click to place the family in a Revit project. We will look at this later. You need to consider when first developing your family as to where you want the placement point to sit and how you want the geometry to change in relation to that point. So for example, if your family is likely to be placed in the corner of a room, you would want the placement point or origin to be at the corner of the room and your family would extend, for example, to the bottom right. Or if you wanted the family to be placed in the center but adjacent to the wall, you might model it equally around the vertical reference plane but extend downwards. For our dining table, it will be centered about its width and its depth. So the placement point will be in the center of the dining table. I now want to start creating some reference planes for the outer edges of the dining table. So firstly, I will go to the Create tab, and in the Datum panel, I will select Reference Plane. I will now draw four reference planes, two for the depth and two for the width. If I select a reference plane, note that I can give it a name and it's always good practice to give each of the reference planes a name so that any users or yourself will be able to identify the purpose of the reference plane. Like so. So this will be the rectangular geometry of the dining table that I'm going to create. If I go to my front elevation, I also want to create a height. So therefore I will go back to the Create tab, select a reference plane, and just draw a reference plane horizontally. And I also want to be able to define the thickness of the dining table top. So I will simply draw another reference plane slightly below. I will click to name. like so. Now that I've created some basic structure or the skeleton of my family, I can start to begin to add parameters and dimensions to be able to specify the exact distances and size of the family. 